what is up guys how you guys doing happy taco tuesday i gotta say it every tuesday y'all i gotta bring it up okay all right i love my tacos i can't help it all right okay so let's see thank you guys for all the love and support you have shown my channel if this resonates hit the like button it sends an energetic donation out to me hit that subscribe button so you know when all of my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box let's move on we are going to be channeling the divine masculine's energy at this time let's see what's going on with this dm at this time spirit ancestors and guides what's going on with this divine masculine at this time spirit ancestors and guides what's going on with the divine masculine Okay, so this Divine Masculine could have just recently gotten a new job, okay? Um, or is looking for a job and is not having a very good temple path. Okay, so right now this person could be looking for a job and they're not having any luck, okay? And they could also be in a family situation that is going through a lot of trouble right now four four off the top ten yeah there's a there's a family situation here and y'all when i read and it's like a, a divine masculine is walking away from a family situation y'all and y'all are like okay like what kind of person is that or whatever okay you don't have to stay with somebody just because you have children with them i stayed in a karmic relationship for 14 years because i had three children with that person the best thing i ever did for me and the children he's a great dad great provider terrible companion you see what i'm saying and so this it just didn't work and for a long time we held on for the kids and the best thing we ever did was walk away from each other and our kids are happy and we are both now happy i'm i met my twin flame right afterwards he pretty much had a relationship a month afterwards too you know that he's been in for three years so it has been good um so don't think i'm sitting here like oh he's over here cheating on this family no because you don't know what else they have been through you don't know what the other person has put them through okay so i'm not sticking up for a cheater just to let that be known i'm just saying from personal experience that's why god blessed me with this gift because i was in a, an abusive childhood where my parents were um like on drugs and neglected i was in a karmic relationship for years i am now with my twin flame i know this is why spirit gave me these gifts because i know okay so there is a situation here where this masculine is not in a happy situation a family situation there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of arguing this is a very dark place for this masculine okay i feel like this masculine isn't doing good financially and they are really trying to find a job trying to find you know a way to get out of this relationship i feel like i feel like whoever this person is their their children's mom okay uh, that they're dealing with is the type of person that is like um it's one of those people that are like you're mine we have kids together you're sticking through this you know one of those families where the parents sit there and tell you like you have kids with this person you need to make it work no you don't have to fucking do that right and it's like so it's like she's telling him no like watch i'm going to get you for child support i'm going to take you for alimony i'm going to take whatever everything you have if you leave me so there's some fights there's some arguing going on here this masculine is trying to get his money up or he is very worried about his money when it comes to this family situation that he is not happy in with storm warning it's definitely coming to an end with the 10 on top okay that situation this family situation that he's in that he's not happy in and it's not that he's not happy being a family man or doing the right thing he's not happy in this relationship okay well, that's the thing it's like don't i hate it when people make it seem like um if a fa if if somebody walked away from a relationship whether it be the mom or the dad and left because they weren't happy 
right? And then the kids, they make the kids think, oh, he he left me or she left uh, me. You know what I'm saying? She didn't want the family or shit like that or he didn't want want you guys. He doesn't want... No, that's not right. He wasn't happy with you. He loves the kids. He's just not happy with you. And that's what's going on in this situation here. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. What's going on with this particular divine masculine spirit, ancestors, and guides? Okay, so we have misalignment. Exactly. So, But that falls under the door to value. So definitely their money is not in order right now. They're not in any position to walk away from this situation that they're in. Okay? Um... But it's like, spirit wants them to know that that's what's putting them in misalignment. Staying in a connection, 555 five, five on the clock, that means they need to make some changes. That's what spirit wants for them. Staying in a, in a connection um, because it's comfortable or because it's easier when you're completely miserable and unhappy. You, this, this masculine is not in alignment, okay? And until he leaves this situation really he's not seeing it's going to be better for the kids and really it's going to be better for the karmic okay for the for his children's mom because she's going to move on to somebody that she's truly happy with too all right but until he aligns with the universe spirit is not going to bless this person it's, it's just like with that past reading spirit is not going to bless this person until they align with the universe with their spiritual path here under happy family, we have <coughs> assistance with access. It is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it. Okay? So they could be asking their family for help to move on from this situation. Asking their family for advice, okay, on what to do when it comes to this situation. Um, you know, maybe even talking to the kids if the kids are older. Like, okay, you know, me, you you know, me and mom, we don't get along. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys, but what would you think if this and this happened? You know what I'm saying? It could be that type of situation. But I definitely feel like they are going having to go to their family and ask for maybe some financial assistance, something like that, in order to get um to walk away from this situation. I feel like the situation is very toxic. Okay, it's not like it's this happy family and he's playing her and it's like there's nothing there's a fighting and arguing from sun up to sundown you know what i'm saying there is um constant bickering con there's no intimacy there's no nothing there but children that they made at probably a very young age okay and so they stuck together because of the kids but now it's like damn it's time to actually have that feeling of being in love right and then we have storm warning and spirit self. So, yeah, be who you are as you are. And it's because this person is finally aligning. Like, it's like they're in misalignment. But the karma that they're going through is causing them to have to align with their spirit self, okay? And this is why there's fights and arguing. Because this person is saying, like, I'm not happy here. You know, like, I love my kids. I don't want to be here. But this person is like, no. Like, try to make it difficult. Like, if you leave, I'm going to make your life hell. I'm going to take put, take you to court. You'll never see the kids. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. That type of shit. Where it's like, you know, I can, I can make sure you don't ever see them again. Holding shit over their head. All that type of shit. So there's fights and arguing because this person is finally realizing, like, I've got to let go of this. Nothing has is going good as long and not for the karmic neither. Shit ain't going good for the divine masculine. Shit ain't going good for the for the karmic. They could not get ahead at all because they're holding on to something that isn't meant for them. As soon as they disconnect from one another, the karmic's going to be blessed. The masculine's going to get blessed. But there are a lot of fights, a lot of arguments. Bottom of the deck, wisdom is in play. Our intuition knows more than we do. You see what I'm saying? This masculine is finally following his intuition. For a long time, this masculine was lost. But you know what? Karma does a hell of a job with turning some shit around, right? Envious gluttony, okay? This... Mm -hmm. 
this person is so fucking like okay if you're like moving on if you've let this person like if you've said like look i'm not dealing with with this shit you got a family um or this person was like trying to play you along or they keep going back to this family situation they've left it they went back they left it they went back this person is jealous as fuck because you're standing your ground here they don't even wanna it's like they're not even admitting to how jealous they are and the thing is their hunger for you is driving them like this this insane hunger and jealousy is driving them towards you because they have a need they feel like they need you like this the spiritual bond that you guys have is so powerful that it's like they need you right and this person doesn't want to admit how bad they hunger for you and how much they miss you and how jealous they are that you're over here saying nah hell no i'm not gonna deal with that shit i'll fuck with you if you're not in this situation or if you're not gonna keep going back and forth you need to make a decision and this person is so fucking like it's like they're hunger if they're away from you they 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 crave you okay and this person doesn't want to admit how bad and how jealous it makes them to know that you could possibly move on. We are peaceful among thorns, okay? So it's like, this is the card of somebody, okay, so intuitively I feel like this person is in a hell of a place, a hell of a bind, peaceful among thorns. It's like, if they move this way, they're fucked. If they move this way, they, they're fucked. It's like they're in a very bad place where it's like shit is constantly coming at them, right? And they're trying to keep their peace. You know, they're not, they're not trying to fight. They're not trying to argue. They want to find a peaceful way to do this. They're trying to stay calm, okay? But this is also a card of something that's very, very spiritual. And instead of, and this could be your energy, okay? This could be how they look at you. Like, you're peaceful among thorns, okay? Um, because of all they put you through, you still find a way to find your spirituality and be like, okay, this is meant for something. But this card is somebody that's like, okay, if you're having trouble in love, it must be a spiritual reason. If you're having trouble in money, let me go to my spirit guides. But this card is saying, like, sometimes if you fucking, if you're having trouble with money, the, the only thing that'll help is money. Sometimes the, if you are having trouble in love, the only thing that'll help is to fuck. And that's literally what the, the um, book says, right? But I don't feel that way. I feel like this is you. You're somebody that still, regardless of everything they put you through and everything they've done, you are still looking towards your spirituality and knowing everything has happened for a reason, right? And then you have calling the storm. So yeah, there's about to be a huge blow up fight. There's about to be um, something significant that's going to happen in this divine masculine's life that um, is going to be causing a lot of changes here. A lot of changes here. Let's see what else is going on with this divine masculine at this time, spirit take off your mask you see what i'm saying they're fucking being their full 100 percent self and saying i love my kids but i'm not happy here you know what i'm saying sexuality there is they're not even having sex okay bottom of the deck is sadness this this masculine is so fucking sad and just not fulfilled right now they feel very empty is what i just heard and it's like they're not getting any any fulfillment at all from this relationship they're not even getting sex out of the relationship sexuality that's a card where they want to explore their sexuality that same old rut or you know what i'm saying scheduling sex or you know missionary once every two weeks like they're not even even having sex with this person anymore it's not even there you know what i'm saying they're not having sex they're not talking they're fighting constantly and this has gone on for a i just heard a couple of years okay and it's like they're finally at the point where they're saying like i want to i want to fuck that's why it's like i want to fuck fucking we're, we're not having a problem like hell in love i want to have i want to fuck 
okay? I want to I wanna be held. I want to talk afterwards and laugh and watch a movie to fucking together. You know what I'm saying? This is, and there's just nothing there. It's literally get up, go to work, or, you know, get up, get the kids up, go, come home, eat dinner, go to sleep, nothing else, nothing else. And this person is, is so done with it. This masculine is so done with it. What's going on with this masculine at this time through it, ancestors, guys? See what I'm saying? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It's like this have they have been this has been coming to an end for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? And it's like every time they start to separate from this, from their baby mama or whoever this is, and shit starts going good, and then they go back and they fall completely off again, and they're starting to see the pattern, okay? And so, like I said, there's about to be some conversations with uh, this baby mama and this masculine, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, that they're not happy and they're ready to move on. Okay, let's see. Let's get some messages from the universe about this divine masculine at this time. Get some messages from the universe on this divine masculine at this time. Okay, so I feel like um, we have the king of wands. Okay, you might be dealing with a fire sign. Um, I don't read signs, so don't focus really on that. But this is somebody that is very, very passionate, definitely towards you, okay? They're ready to take that leadership role and say, no, this is, I want something different, okay? Um, they're about to definitely communicate everything that they've been thinking about, they're about to communicate. They're about to bring it into fruition, everything that's been on their mind when it comes to this, okay? Because they're keeping their eye on the bigger picture, and used to this baby mama could make them feel guilty for wanting to move on. But with this king of wands, now they're not sensitive to that guilt trip or to that criticism. They know what, it's like they're aligning with the universe and, and getting in tune with their spirit self. And they're realizing what is good for them. With the four of pentacles, they could be saving money, okay, trying to hold on to their money so that they can be in a good place to get out of this situation and still be able to take care of their kids, okay. And then we have the Four of Wands. I definitely feel like this could be your twin flame. All right. Um, I feel like you're going to be, it's like going to be a very happy situation um, when they leave this for the two of you. Okay. Um, it's like you put up with, you have went through a lot. You've waited on this. Okay. There's a lot of peace and contentment and prosperity coming to both of your lives, even the karmics. Okay. So don't feel like you're going to be celebrating and she, no, she's going to go through the dark night of the soul for a little bit like you did, but she's going to come out on top too. Okay. Four of wands, 11, 11. This is destined. This is meant to go this way. Um, you can't stop what the universe has planned. All right. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If it resonated at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, my loves. Peace.